I want you all to know that I love this place, but it was not always that way. <laughs> Entering my senior year of high school, I had two goals, join the Air Force and buy a 1958 Corvette, first year dual headlights. However, as the oldest of my generation, there was overwhelming pressure to attend college, supposedly setting a benchmark for my three siblings and 26 first cousins. So when I was called to the guidance office to meet a representative from Marietta College, a place I'd never heard of, I thought this might be an opportunity to get the previous generation off my back. <laughs> After all, the application fee was $10. And now I would be able to tell everyone, hey, I applied. My scheme, however, failed. And the pressure to enroll continued. So upon graduation, I reluctantly made the decision to attend college. Since my application had been accepted, and since it was the only school to which I had applied, the college of my choice, Marietta. <laughs> the first time I stepped onto a college campus was September of 1961 when mom and dad dropped me at the corner of 7th and Butler. I quickly realized college was not a good fit. I was poorly prepared, both academically and socially. Worse yet, my wardrobe was all wrong. I did not own a single shirt with button-down collar, navy blazer, or pair of loafers. It took a few years, but eventually I became a student, although never a scholar. Getting there took the personal interest and support of many people. Professors like Mary Steers, who after watching me struggle through six hours of accounting, suggested I might change my major. <laughs> or Dr. Chang, recognizing my continuing failure to comprehend economic theory, spent one-on-one -on -one time with me to assure that I got it. That kind of personalized assistance, coupled with small class sizes, helped me get through four years and earn a degree. And although I was not a petroleum major, Marietta's reputation in the oil industry made it possible to land a first job. A few years later, that experience led to the beginning of a 44-year career with the same firm. On the social side, I pledged a fraternity and found guidance for behavior, discipline, and leadership, and had a few beers. <laughs> During four years on this campus, I was blessed to have met hundreds of people, many like Jack, I still count as friends. And as you can see, I did eventually acquire appropriate preppy wear. <laughs> I did not join the Air Force, and only occasionally do I think about the Corvette I never acquired. I do, however, love to look back on the four years I spent here and the memories created. Although I must admit, I still have nightmares about missing classes. And I do love to come back to see what is new and what remains from my time on campus, to reminisce, to hear stories, tell stories, and to share experiences, hopefully with friends from long ago. If the Lord wills, I will be here in 2020 for my 55th reunion. The truth is, I have been a better alumnus than I ever was a student. And while you won't find me on any honorary donor list, I do actively try to support and give back to the place that I owe so much Marietta College, thank you for this honor.